How's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, oh boys, everybody's all busy these days, the fall, getting ready for winter and whatnot. I'm glad you were able to take a couple minutes, come and watch my video. So thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. And if you like this video, boys, oh boys, click like and click subscribe and click share. That would be kind of neat too. But anyway, getting down to this video. Uh, this video is about my tractor. I've got a Massey Ferguson, red Massey Ferguson, GC2300. Uh, it's a 23 and a half horsepower subcompact tractor. It's a four-wheel drive hydrostatic. Uh, just a little word about tractors now. If anybody's out there think I'm getting a tractor and you're wondering what one should I get, well, there's lots of videos on YouTube to explain the pros and cons of all the different models. But I'm just going to tell you that a subcompact tractor, uh, and it doesn't matter whether it's red, orange, green, blue, doesn't matter. They're all they're all good machines because there's so many tractor manufacturers there today to pick from. If there was bad tractors out there, they wouldn't be in business. Just as simple as that. So no matter what kind you get, it's going to be good. I prefer Massey Ferguson. Hey, just say I don't know if you can see my sign back here or not, but anyway, it's some kind of a Massey guy. But anyways, subcompact tractors, they'll do tons and tons and tons. One thing though I will caution you about, if you're buying it to work in the woods, uh, like hauling wood or you know things like that, because it has small back wheels, it doesn't have a lot of pulling power because the wheels spin out. But you know, be that as it may, it'll push snow, it'll lift like amazing amounts of weight. Uh, so anyway, just be aware of that. But to get to my video. My video today is, since I bought my tractor, I bought my tractor in 2007. I think it was a 2006 model, but I bought it in 2007. I've got about uh, 850 some hours on it, so lots of time in the saddle. So, but while I was using the tractor, there's always these little things, you know, that, geez, if that was a little bit better, or geez, if that was nice, or man, it, this would be so much more comfortable if I had this or that and the other thing. Or if I got this uh, implement, or if I had that implement on the back, you know, oh, how much better, what else, you, you know, all the stories goes on and on and on. Buying the tractor is really the, the, the small part of the whole purchase. <laughs> it's all the toys and stuff you need to go with your tractor hey, that run the build up. However, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of things you can do to your tractor that don't cost a whole pile of money to make your tractor more comfortable to operate and to allow your tractor to do more work. So I'm going to make a couple of videos here, probably, I don't know, three, four, I don't know. It's going to be a series of videos I'm going to make about the little mods that I've done to my tractor and the little additions I made to the tractor. This is a long intro for what I'm going to get down to. I'm going to take you out and show you my tractor. I'm going to do a little walk around. I've got a bunch of mods done to my tractor and a bunch of uh, implements that I added to it. And I'm going to break this into a kind of two segments. One of them is going to be creature comforts and one of them is going to be working. Well, not comforts because I don't know many people are comfortable when they're working. But creature things that make it easier to operate and work the tractor. And things that make it easier for the tractor to work and operate and do more. Okay, so the first uh, series of videos I'm going to do here are about creature comforts. So right now, without dragging on for an hour and a half. I'm going to take you out and show you around my tractor and show you some of the creature comforts I made, try to explain how they work, what they do, and how much they cost because to me that's the important thing. I don't have a lot of money to throw around. I don't know that anybody does. So, uh, you know, you can do a lot to your tractor without breaking the bank. So I'd like to just show you that right now. So we will have a look. So here's my tractor. Uh, do a little video about my tractor. See lots of videos on YouTube about tractors. So I thought I would do one about mine. Uh, this is a, a 2007 Massey Ferguson. It's a GC2300. You can't see the number on the back there because the cab covers it. But uh, this is a great tractor. There's not much it won't do. It'll, uh, I use it mainly, the main reason I bought it was for push for plowing snow. So when I bought it, I bought it with a cab. So this is a Curtis cab, it's a soft sided cab, but it has a hard glass windshield. Uh, and then it came with uh, soft sides and a hard top, it's got a hard top mind you. Now you can put a heater in that, but I find that uh, 
when I'm plowing I dress for being out in the, the weather so I didn't bother with the heater because uh, oh, well, I just didn't need it. However, what I'd like to talk about in this video is about the tractor itself and just what I'm going to call preacher comforts of the tractor and little mods that I made here and there to just to make this more comfortable machine to work on. So, some creature comforts that I created for it. Made little mods here and there. Uh, I must say too about my mods. Most of my mods, uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money, so most of my mods haven't cost a cent. Other than for scrap materials that I had around the shop. And I just kind of cobble stuff together and make do with what I have. And uh, turn it into a nice usable mod. Some of them though, of course, you have to go buy parts and pieces for. And uh, we all know that, and we all do that from time to time. But tractors, for anybody who owns one, they're pretty special. Everybody loves their tractor. Everybody loves red ones. Everybody loves green ones if they have a green one. Everybody loves orange if they have orange. Uh, so, <laughs> rather than go into that debate. So now to talk about some of the creature comforts I've put on this tractor since I bought it. First off, since I was plowing, I was still working at the time, need to plow at night. So, I put on work lights. I had a couple of versions of work lights. What I ended up were with was what I ended up with was these ones. Uh, they're uh, six LEDs in each light and they're LED lights of course. Uh, I bought those I think at Prince's Auto. Got a good price on them when they're on sale. And uh, they're very very bright and they give good illumination at night for plowing. And uh, because I plow mainly with the blade, I have the one on the right hand side of the tractor aiming down towards the corner of the blade and the one on the left hand side just aiming out down the road so I can see where I'm heading. Uh, another creature comfort I put on this was uh, LED headlights and you can see that the, the cowling <laughs> has, has gotten broken over the years. But there's LED headlights in there, and they're very bright as well. I would recommend getting LED headlights, uh, because the more mods you put on your tractor, and the more little utensils and attachments, uh, it ends up using some power, and uh, the alternator just sometimes can't put out enough juice, and it's putting an excessive load on the alternator, so putting LED lights in is a great idea. Saves power. Now, another thing I've done, because I have a rear snow blower, I have put a rear work light on the tractor. Right there. Same as the front one. Six LEDs, very bright. Shines over the snow blower on the back. And it's a great creature comfort because it, uh, it allows good visibility when you're snow blowing at night. Okay. What else have I done for creature comforts? Inside the cab. Uh, I put on the steering wheel a steering knob. I think uh, that's vitally important, especially when you're doing front-end loader work. That uh, knob that you can get lots of different kinds. That's the cheapest one I could find, and it works wonderful. I love it. I think it's great. Another creature comfort. I put a toolbox in it. Now, lots of guys have fancy toolboxes. What I have. Uh, if you can see that, it's a Volger coffee can, extra large type, so it's about 10 inches deep. And there used to be a cup holder there where it's mounted. I took the cup holder off and mounted the toolbox. What did I fold the seat ahead here so you can see that a little better maybe? There, look at that. Just mounted it where the cup holder was, since I don't drink and drive. So there you go. Uh, another creature comfort. When you're using the backhoe, you're always turning around in the seat to look out the back window or whatever you have on the back of your tractor. Uh, it seems like you're turning around a lot to see where you're going. So I put these handles, one on that side of the tractor and one on this side of the cab. And I use those handles a lot uh, because it's, I find it hard to twist around. I can turn sideways in the seat sort of and grab that handle and that helps me turn around which uh, works out very well. Uh, another uh, a little modification that I made to the cab though, uh, the back windows here, these windows right here, uh, 
they were just vinyl windows. There's one on both sides, kind of a trapezoidal shape. How do you like that word? Anyways, uh, all these windows are held on to the cab with uh, Velcro tape. Well, the Velcro tape was getting old and peeling and whatnot, so hard to keep the window in place. When you're blowing snow, snow is getting in the cab. So what I did was I bought some plexiglass and I replaced both those side windows here with plexiglass. So that worked pretty good. It was easy to do. You just use the old window for a pattern. Cut the plexiglass on the table saw, put it in a couple of screws, you're done. Okay, uh, another thing, kind of bouncing around here, but uh, inside the cab, uh, when you're getting in and out a lot, and uh, especially in the winter, things get slippy. So I have grip tape here on the floor. And also, for getting in and out, I put grip tape here. This is sort of like where I put my hand when I'm climbing out of the tractor. I'll put my hand down there to help myself out. So just put some grip tape on it just to make it a little bit safer getting in and out so it wouldn't fall. Okay, so to help myself getting in and out of the tractor, well, I used to just reach over here, grab the steering wheel, put my foot up on the deck and climb in. Well, I was pulling on the steering wheel all the time. Now, the steering wheel on this tractor, at least, is mounted on shock-mounted studs. Uh, anyways, I was wearing out those rubber shock mounts, and the steering wheel was getting right floppy and wiggly. So I repaired that, uh, and I said, now what am I going to do? Well, I come up with this idea. I put a little grab bar right up here on this cross member, just below the windshield. So now you just grab that and climb in. <laughs> 